So hi everyone. Today's project um, is the fossil preparation of a massive titanophere uh, lower jaw. It consists of two large lower, lower molars, um, which were found in the Shadron Formation of South Dakota and dates back 30 million years ago. This was a massive uh, herbivorous mammal which roamed at the time. And as you can see, when it was found, it's got lots of fragments and despite its size, it's actually quite fragile. Um, so the first task is about uh, gluing uh, this back together with really strong field consolidant uh, called cyanoacrylate. Um, it's pretty rough stuff, so you want to be very careful with it. Um, but once that's all glued back together and made really solid, pneumatic air tools can then be used uh, to really clean off the excess matrix, all that rock that surrounds the fossils. So for this, I'm using a combination of tools for the bulk matrix, getting away all the large stuff, all the large rock around it. I'm using a Zoic Paleotech T-Rex pen, which is amazing air uh, powered pneumatic tool, which uh, chisels away all the large bits of rock. And then the thinner tool is something called a micro raptor, a paleo, uh, sorry, a Zoic Paleotech micro raptor. It's a type of tool which really gets into the uh, into the finer details. So all of the matrix can be removed easily around the teeth. Um, and around the bone, which is now much more solid because it's been uh, been glued together uh, much more rigidly. So as you can see, this is a time lapse video where I've sped this up massively. It's probably the I don't know around three hours worth of of work, maybe four hours worth of work just with the pens, just to try and get all of the bits and pieces, all of the bits and matrix away from the uh, either the bone part sections of the jaw or away from the enamel, which is the the larger brown crowns of the teeth, uh, which I'm working on in, in, in this section of the video. So this is where the really fine micro raptor air tool is used to just get the finer bits of all the detail away from, uh, away from the tooth itself. Um, once all of the finer matrix is, uh, is done, I use a micro sandblaster to then, uh, and it, this is filled with a, a, a powder called dolomite, uh, which then really uh, takes all the finer detail of the matrix away from uh, away from the teeth. So it really takes away all of the fine stuff. It's a, a micro sandblasting technique. Finishing up, um, it, everyone has their different preferences when it comes to fossil prep, but I use a, uh, a nylon abrasive uh, uh, Dremel head, um, which I only use this on the, uh, on the crowns of the teeth, which are very solid. And all, all that does is to take away all the finer bits of, uh, uh, bits of matrix which are left on there. And then, and, and then to finish the, uh, uh, finish the fossil prep, I use a Paraloid B72 diluted really heavily with acetone. So it's actually only 3 to 4% Paraloid B72. Uh, and what that does is it is infiltrates all the little cracks and crevices um, throughout, the, uh, throughout the crowns of the teeth, which can be fragile. Um, and it really uh, solidifies all of this and gives the whole structure um, a huge amount of strength. And there, and there it is. This is the, the final prepared lower jaw. This is just two molars of the lower jaw and measures nine inches. So it gives you a sense of how big these herbivorous titanotheres were 30 million years ago. I mean, they stood 2.5 meters high and they have massive kind of horn-like protuberances um, on the top of their snouts. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, if you want to check out any other videos, subscribe um, and see you next time. Thanks a lot.